Welcome to our annual Thanksgiving service, which is for the first time held online. My name is Joshua Gadd, and I am the worship coordinator based in Melbourne, Australia. We are so grateful that many of our friends from the Pacific Nations and ministry partners from Port Vila in Vanuatu, Nukalofa and Vavau Island in Tonga, New Zealand, Australia, and other parts of the world who have joined us on this special occasion today. We are Healthcare Christian Fellowship Oceania, Pacific Nations, Region 16 of the Healthcare Christian Fellowship International. Our organization was birthed in 2002 in Melbourne, Australia, and has an influence in the Oceania region. Our main aim is the Great Commission, to encourage and empower healthcare workers and others to be Christ-like in their workplace. We do this through medical outreaches and discipleship training, which is done mainly via distance education. For the next hour, we have an exciting program prepared for you with the participation from our Pacific Nation partners. We will commence shortly with worship led by the team from the City Impact Church in Vavau Island, followed by a short message from their lead pastor, Pastor Heavily Sefisi. Pastor Heavily and his church had been instrumental in making our outreaches to Tonga in 2018 and 2019 a tremendous success. After Pastor Heavily's message, as a special item, he will also present a song which he composed entitled Tonga, the acronym for Take Our Nation God Again. We hope you will have an enjoyable evening with us. Let us commit this time to God in prayer. Holy Father, Lord, God of eternity, God of heaven and earth, God of the nations, come, come with your wisdom and power, clothed in your honor and majesty. Our hearts are so thankful to you for all that we have received from your hand. May our thanksgiving service be a sweet aroma unto you. In Jesus' name, Amen.
in Jesus' wonderful name. And everybody sing. Especially nowadays, 
You know, the world is full of chaos, full of problems. People are living in fear. But praise the Lord that the Word of God is teaching us to always turn to God in times of our troubles. Psalm 35 and verse 18, I will give thanks in the great assembly. I will praise you among many people. We gather together today. There are a lot of us from different places. But praise the Lord, David said, I will give thanks in the great assembly. And I believe that we can all say that today as we gather together to praise our God. Every one of us should lift up our voice and give thanks to the Lord. Psalm 1969, I'm sorry, Psalm, Psalm 69 verse 30, I will praise the name of God with a song and will magnify him with thanksgiving. Psalm 92 verse 1, it is a good thing to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praises to your name most high. You see, God has been teaching His people, Israel, to know how to give thanks and how to praise Him. He brought them out from Egypt, from being in bondage. He set them free and He brought them uh, into uh, the wilderness. And there He was teaching them to praise God and always give thanks to the Lord. But we know what happened. The people, they always complain. They always murmur, and every time they come across a problem, they, they, they always complain to Moses. But you see, that, that is the reason why all of them died in the wilderness. Forty years they were going around, because God was teaching them to, to, to learn how to be appreciative, to learn how to give thanks, and learn how to uh, praise God even in the midst of trouble. But they were living uh, as people that are always complaining. And I believe uh, the Israelites are teaching us a good lesson today. My friends, as Christians, we should be people of thanksgiving. We always turn to God. You know, God has, has been uh, helping us uh, in our in our steps. He's, he's been helping us since we, you know, we've given our lives to Him. And we need to give thanks to Him. Even, even today, whatever we are struggling with, God is always there with you. There's a good uh, uh, story in the book of Luke, chapter 17 and verses 12 to verse 19. It is talking about ten lepers that came to Jesus and asked Jesus, can you heal us? And Jesus said, yes, go and show yourselves to the priest. So these men, these ten, ten lepers, they went and showed themselves uh, to, to the priest. But the Bible said as they went, they were cleansed. But you see, there was only one among them that came back to thank Jesus. This guy, he looked at himself, he saw how clean he was, you know, he experienced the miracle of Jesus that cleanses them from their liberty. And he, uh, he was very grateful to what Jesus has done to him. He was so thankful. So he decided, I'm going to go back and thank Jesus. And this one man came back and he thanked Jesus for what Jesus has done for him. And you know, Jesus said to him, Behold, there were ten that were cleansed, and only one returned to thank me. Where are the nine? You know, it is important to God that when He is doing great things to us, that we always come back and thank Him. Just like this Samaritan. I believe all the other nine, they were Jews. But this guy here was the only Samaritan. And he came back and he thanked Jesus. And you know what happened? Verse 19, it tells us that Jesus turned and said to him, 
arise and go. Your faith has healed you. Your faith has made you whole. The word made there, it means sozo. It means saved. And that's what Jesus was saying. You're not only healed, but you are also saved. So Jesus, so this guy had a double blessing. It is paid to give thanks to the Lord. There were times, you remember, when Jesus was feeding the 5,000 people. There were only two fish and five loaves of bread. This would be a difficult situation for any of us. It is impossible to feed these so many people with only this little food. But you see, Jesus, he looked up to his father and he thanked his father before he fed the 5,000. What about the 4,000 people that he fed? He did the same thing with few fish and few loaves. And he looked up to his father and thanked his father before he gave it to everyone to be fed. Difficult situation, Jesus is teaching us a lesson. Whatever we're facing in life, it doesn't matter how hard it is, how difficult it is, God will help you if you turn to him and thank him. When he was about to raise Lazarus from the dead. He looked up to his father again and he said, Father, I thank you that thou art with me. You see, he was giving thanks to his father before he called Lazarus to come out. And friends, whatever that situation we are facing in life, when we turn to Jesus, when we turn to God, God will always help us. There were two people they were put, they were put in, in jail. Paul and Silas, while they were in prison, you know, they, they, the Bible said in the midnight hour, they started singing and praising God. In the midst of the prison, they were chained. But you see, when they give thanks to the Lord, God shook the prison. And, and, and not only that, He unlocked the chain from their hands. God stepped down and in, you know, in the midst of their praise, in the midst of their praying and singing to God and set them free. He opened the prison doors and he unchained them from the chain. And not only that, he opened the heart of the jailer. You see, the jailer gave his heart to the Lord. After that, he was helping them, he took them to his house, he gave them some food, and he was cleaning their wounds. You see, that's what happened. When you praise God and give thanks to the Lord in the midst of trouble, even your enemy will turn around and love you and serve you. It is very, it is a very powerful thing, my friends, to always give thanks to the Lord and always praise Him, no matter what is what what it is that we are going through. David said in his psalm. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. See, David, he always turned to God. And my friends, the world is in chaos today. So many troubles, so many problems. Even the COVID-19, it is creating fear among the people. But our God is greater than COVID-19. Our God is greater, is greater than all the chaos around the world. Turn to Him. He is the one that is with you at all times. He's there with you and He will help you. In whatever you go through, He will bring you out. When we turn to Him and thank Him in the midst of trouble. Thank you so very much for the opportunity given to me. I hope these words have been a blessing to you. Thank you.
confess our sins and seek forgiveness from above. We know how thou art the way, the truth, and the life. Have mercy upon us. Touch your people with love. Yeah.
Father, we come before the throne of grace, heart full of gratitude, thanks, worship, and prayer for all that we have witnessed in Oceania throughout these many years. We thank you, Lord. Words cannot explain or say what we have witnessed. We give all thanks to you, as you say, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Zechariah 4.6 We thank you, Lord, that you will continue to lead us and guide us, as you say. The Lord is not willing that any should perish, but all should come to know me. Come to repentance. 1 Peter 3.9 we th- say Amen and thanks. I am Chalaya Nyanaharan, the leader of the HCF4 Pacific Nations from Melbourne, Australia. We would like to share what the Lord has done in our lives and the excellent team He has provided us. In around late 90s, through a dream, the Lord called us to be available to him. I answered, we will go with you if you go with us. Before I could close my mouth, the Lord said, I have gone before you and prepared the way and I will go with you. The Lord has kept his promise and showed as great and mighty things. We have seen many, many miracles and in 2008, through the death and being raised from the death of Dr. Sean George, we realized we are in a ministry which is serious and we need to be prepared as good warriors. From that time onwards, we started having 21 days of fasting and prayer yearly from day one. We thank and praise God for divine appointments and His favor for this pioneering work in Oceania. The greatest miracles is the newborn spirit. God uses ordinary people to carry out His mission on the earth. It is our availability and not the ability that the Lord wants. To give you some examples, a few years ago in Mumbai, Vanuatu, we had an outreach which always has a conference over the weekend and holistic medicine um, during the day, during weekdays. While we were sharing the good news, it started raining. It rained and rained and continued to rain. Initially we thought it is showers of blessing, but it became very evident it was enemy attack. By Saturday all the temporary structures that were erected for the service was destroyed and we have to move to the church which was in the same compound. And by Saturday evening, the Lord spoke to us and said, call for a fast, which we did on Sunday morning onwards. And by evening, before we broke the fast, the rain trickled down and stopped. In the night, there was severe noise on the roof. When we woke up in the morning, there was clear sky and no and stars and no rain. We were we had four days of clear weather and we were able to carry out the ministry without any hindrance. On the Thursday it started raining. We saw over two thousand people Um, and ministered to them and most of them came to know the Lord during that time. On our return back from 
when I was two, I was seated by the side of a Australian tourist who asked me, "Did you see any rain?" I replied, "Yes, sir. In Tong Ambai Island, we had no rain or clouds, and we had." four clear days and um, the crux of the issue is that the whole of Vanuatu was covered by rain and clouds but not Hambai in 2008 Sean George returned back from Tongoa Island and was traveling from Esperance Hospital to Kalgoorlie Hospital and developed a heart attack and went into cardiac arrest and the last 30 minutes of the cardiac arrest was a systole however he was resuscitated in a miraculous way and transferred to royal perth hospital on the third day sherry his wife asked the intensive care registrar when shawn wakes up will he have any brain damage and reply came sh- swiftly even if shawn wakes up he will be a vegetable will have brain damage you should know better as you are a doctor However a lady from India said to Sherry today before you go to sleep Sean will open his eyes and it happened as mentioned as the lord is in control in 2008 the lord said to us even my levites do not have my word in their homes how can they obey joshua warnet let not my word leave you day or night but meditate on them and obey all my commands so that i can prosper you funds for the han and the lord also said to us i will give you 100 bibles and give in give them to my um levites and the funds for the same was promised to us by our team before we left tongawa island and it was accomplished the next year the lord said 300 bibles this was carried out on the last day at north santo island i was walking towards the podium the lord said i want you to place a bible in each and every household at that stage shawn george walked up to me and said dr chalaya i think the lord is saying to place a bible in each and every household how is that for a confirmation chant took his uh, calculator out and said 88000 you know the lord has a um, sense of humor he blinded our eyes to the last zero it should have been 880000 us dollars later it went to 25 us per copy or 1 million dollars the lord not only provided the funds for the bibles for the distribution and for the gift for the south pacific bible society the handing over ceremony is in our website which was done in 
recently the lord asked us to set up hcf o training and uh, this was done and operational it is a distant discipleship training and being utilized by all not only healthcare workers but also the pastors and elders we thank baptist church crossway baptist church for enabling us to do this with the funds etc in 2020 the lord inspired us to bring together all their children so that they would uh, so that we could have a prayer movement in oceania and answer the lord's cry and um, we are in the process of doing just that and appeal to you please join us and we can see the lord's cry answered in closing i want to read john 17 23 i in them you in me that they may be made perfect in one that the world may know that you father has sent me and have loved them as you have loved me amen hi everyone i'm michelin naidu i'm uh, the leader of the hc team in new zealand and i'm a gp in auckland Thanks for having me today. It's uh, a pleasure being here with you all. Um I work with a wonderful team of people here in New Zealand um who not only attend these outreach missions but are involved in uh other missions uh, and ministries here in New Zealand. Uh, and it's wonderful to uh, work with such um amazing people. Look, I wanted to share a, a testimony about um, my trip to Malekula, Vanuatu, in 2015. Um, it was my first mission ever, and it was it was awesome. It was it was such a great experience, but it was also a difficult time in my life. My dad was diagnosed with terminal lung cancer two weeks before the mission trip, and and I almost didn't go. I um, felt bad that I was just leaving my family. um in the state of shock um but i am so glad i went um these trips start with a conference um and i can only describe it like i was watered when i went i just soaked up god's word and um throughout the the mission um it, you could just see god's hand there uh people's hearts were were open and it was amazing to see how many people came to the lord um it it was really awesome it was it was the first time i saw doctors praying with patients and yeah it was it was an eye opening experience for me um it was also really cool to you know um fly out on a small plane and uh drag my luggage on the on the beach into a small boat and uh tra- travel out to this um village uh right on the ocean front it was it was awesome the people were lovely really enjoyed the food and it was overall yeah aw- awesome experience at the same time my family were on my mind and and my dad in particular and look my testimony actually comes from after um the mission even on that flight home I felt God was with me. He was the closest he had ever been to me and he began speaking to me in an amazing way and revealing um these incredible things. And and one of them was about my dad. Um so my dad didn't believe in God and he wanted nothing to do with the church and he just wanted nothing to do with anything about God and you know at the time I was thinking Oh, how it's just impossible how is he going to come to accept god in his life and on that flight home i felt this incredible sense of peace that 
it was going to be okay. And I shared the gospel with my dad. I went through the steps to peace um, with him when I got home. And yeah, he did. He ended up accepting it. Not straight away. It was the next day he slept on it, but he, he did. And it was wonderful. And a spin off from this is that my mum um, is a regular attender now uh, to mission trips. She, yeah, it, it's amazing how how God has worked through my family, uh, which is just just awesome. Um, yeah, so um, I think that's that's the time I've got. My final comments are that God is awesome. He is so good. And he is in control, which, which you know, it was amazing uh, time that year to see him move in an amazing way in my life. Um, and also that his hand is upon this ministry. And it's a real honour and privilege to be part of this team. Thanks for having me. See you. See you. On behalf of Hetsia Vanuatu, uh, I want to say thank you for everyone. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your, your encouragement to us. And I want to say thank you. Uh, thank the Lord that, yes, uh, through the Hetsia uh, that has been here in Vanuatu since 2007 till today, there has been really an impact to our people, uh, the health officers, the contributions to our. Uh, nation and want to say thank you so much to the Lord for his blessings upon this nation. We have seen a lot of changes in the Ministry of Health and uh, we believe that through what God has done in the Ministry of Health, especially in the HCF, we have seen so many blessings, so many changes and uh, we believe the Lord has been uh, drawing people to him and um, uh, we want to thank the Lord that yes, that uh, though we have faced a lot of challenges, COVID-19, we thank the Lord that yes, Vanuatu is still COVID-free. And we want to say thank you to the Lord because we believe that through the prayers, God has protected Vanuatu. And we want to say thank you to the Lord even uh, we have faced uh, two cyclones, T.C. Palm and T.C. Harol, yet the Lord has protected, uh, protected uh, the nation Vanuatu. And uh, we thank you all for the prayers and we believe that this is true God that through all our prayers, God has protected our nation. And um, we believe that the future of uh, HCF is bright in Vanuatu. Though this, this year there's no event because of the COVID-19, uh, this is our prayer that the Lord will make things according to his will, that we will continue to pray for our nation so that the HCF event in Vanuatu will continue to be implemented for the better of our nation and Ministry of Health. I think this is all we want to say. Thank you. We love you all with the love of the Lord. Continue to pray for Vanuatu, and we will continue to pray for uh, you as well. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Hello. Greetings from uh, Vanuatu. My name is Edna Yafro. I work in the Ministry of Health. Um, I uh, joined HCF Vanuatu in 2009 when I coordinated the HCF uh, medical camp in Santo. Uh, and that time it was really successful. Um, the communities, the church leaders and the health workers that time were so blessed um, that time. Uh, from then on, each year after 2009, I continued to join HCF every year going to each other provinces. Uh, we all know Vanuatu has a population of around 292,680. So we have six provinces and 83 islands and we're separated by sea. Um, Vanuatu HCF Oceania, uh, our communities, churches, healthcare workers were so blessed uh, with all the outreaches that every year they come over uh, to join with HCF Vanuatu team to go out to do uh, outreaches. And uh, we would like to thank the Lord for that. And also, um, we've seen that there were, a lot of, uh, there were a lot of changes already in lives of people with uh, these uh, outreaches. 
not only seeing those who are sick who come in, but we also pray for them and um, help them in whatever needs they have. Um, Vanuatu also was blessed with uh, receiving donated Pishlama pipes, and that's through HCF Oceania. We would like to thank the Lord for that. Not many people in Vanuatu, they can uh, have a Bible of their own. So with this HCF Oceania, we can uh, distribute, uh, we did distribute it, uh, a lot of Peace Lama Bibles to individuals around the communities. Um, HCF Vanuatu also uh, received uh, funding support from HCF Oceania uh, since 2015 when we had the cyclone palm. That's category five, and again this year, 2020, uh, we had another category five cyclone. So we continue to thank the Lord through HCF Oceania. They continue to support uh, Vanuatu with the uh, recovery funds. So we would like to thank the Lord for that. And uh, finally, with the HCF uh, Oceania discipleship training, uh, some of the nurses here in Vanuatu, and also our church leaders through Minister Svetinal. They also joined this uh, discipleship training, which was really good. Um, most of us are still continue to, to do this, uh, to involve in this uh, training. So we would like to thank the Lord for all these wonders that he continued to help Vanuatu with it. And uh, also with this COVID-19 uh, crisis that is affecting the whole world, um, the Ministry of Health here in Vanuatu have asked or have kindly requested Vanuatu HCF to continue to pray every Wednesday morning, that's from 8 o'clock to half past 8, to join together in prayer. So that is continue. Uh, every morning we have staff from uh, each of the departments in the units in the Ministry of Health, they come together to join in prayer. So that's uh, one thing that we would like to thank the Lord for that. Uh, to see that uh, HCF uh, Vanuatu continue to uh, stand strong to do the work to help uh, the Vanuatu people's life. So again, on behalf of uh, HCF Vanuatu, uh, thank you. We'd like to thank the Lord for everything. And we would like to join everyone, other our teams in Oceania, we will continue to join everyone together in prayer as we continue to do this um, uh, HCF uh, program. So thank you again. God bless everyone. Hello. It's good to be with you all. As we would say with our friends in Vanuatu, God is good. My name is Trevor Sadler from Australia. I have had the privilege with my wife, Gwenda, of going on many HCF mission trips and my, my current role has been leading the cancelling teams. HCF, Healthcare Christian Fellowship, we give God all the glory and thanks that he has risen up HCF to go on various countries throughout Oceania. I could tell you many wonderful things that have happened to me. I have seen miracles of healing, but the best miracle is seeing many who have changed directions in their lives. Many walking on the broad road, but have been shown the narrow door and they realize this is the only way to salvation. Tears of joy, tears of thanksgiving, to see churches coming together, to share in what God will do with them, to see men and women joining us from all church denominations, sitting down with the people, sharing God's love, God's salvation. This is an incredible to be part of it. If time allowed, I could tell you wonderful story after story of God's mighty works. Believe me, come on a trip and see for yourself the love of God's people coming together and supporting each other, being there for the people. To see God at work is truly amazing. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Our Father in heaven, thank you that you listen to our prayer. And as we come into the throne of grace, we give thanks to you in our hearts for what you do for HCF and to all those who love you. 
we are bound to give thanks to our God in heaven. Brethren, beloved by the Lord, because God from the beginning chose you for salvation through sanctification by the Spirit and belief in the truth. May God comfort our hearts in every good work and deed. Thank you, Father, that you have blessed us all with the work of HCF. Thank you for allowing us to come together as we lift your name on high, for you are a mighty God who goes before us and prepares our way. You are the way maker. Thank you that you protect us as we go on our mission trips. Thank you for all those who stay back home and bring their prayers to you <clears throat> for the safety of the people and for those who are willing to give. Thank you that we are able to share God's love and salvation to many lost souls. Lord, as we go about your mission in Oceania, we give you thanks. O oh, Father, great is your faithfulness to us all. You are our God, a God of mercy. You are a God of grace, a God who so loved the world that you came down to show us and to show the world there is a way back to you. Almighty God, we can say from our very beginning, our very souls, thank you for Jesus Christ and his love for dying on the cross for the sins of the world, his resurrection that defeated death. We pray that you will bless our mission, Lord, Bless all those who are involved with HCF. Continue to surround us with your love and comfort. We praise you, O Lord, for you are a great God of salvation. To all who are with us today, Lord, we ask that you bless them. Now may the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God and into the patience and strength of Jesus Christ. We pray this prayer in the name of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. I'd like to say in a final conclusion before we end our Thanksgiving service, as you have all heard and know, HCF is a holistic mission that sends out teams of people to various places throughout Oceania. These places have been Vanuatu, Tonga and Papua New Guinea. Our aim is to share the love of Christ through medical, counselling and children's teams working together to bring people into salvation through the physical healing of the body and the spiritual healing of the hearts. When we volunteer on these mission trips, we do take such items as the Gospel of John and many small tracts called Peace, Steps with God, written by Billy Graham, wonderful tools to bring people to the Lord. These are written in English and the language of the country we are going to. And as many as 1,500 of these little books are purchased for each mission. We also will be taking complete New Testaments with us on new missions. These items, they, they cost money to be printed. Souls are saved using this material. I have witnessed with many team members, people coming to know the Lord as their personal saviour using these little steps, these little books. Tears of joy I've seen being wept as Jesus forgives their sins, many finding their peace with God. What a privilege it is to be part of HCF. I encourage you all to come and join us and experience joy and fellowship. We do have a love offering to cover the cost of all this material and you will find the details on the HCF websites. May God comfort your hearts as you established in every good work and word. Now may the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God and into the patient waiting of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for coming on this great, great HCF journey with us. May you all be blessed in the love of Christ. Thank you.